minus one minute. T minus fifty seconds. T minus forty seconds. Minus thirty seconds. T minus twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Own it, own it, own it, Kong. I own it. It did. Women's Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. Women's Wrestling Talk, the number one number women's one wrestling, wrestling show, show on, the on the planet. On the motherfucking planet. That's how we, yeah, that's how we started off tonight. The Impact Post Show, the number one Impact Post Show on the planet, on Women's Wrestling Talk, the women, the best women's wrestling show on the planet with the most dominating tag team. Uh, the only dominating tag team. Oh, let me fix my We're no, We are no longer the most. We are the only. Ooh. So Ooh. there's no most anymore. It's only now. Well, you heard what my partner said. And tonight, <laughs> we finna get into it. Um, Listen, mm -hmm. I was snooping around. A little early, you know, just to see what the other post shows was giving or whatever. Yeah, I think we were uh, both like in the hot out a little bit, you know, just sniffing up the competition. Mm. And, um, but then I had to, you know, pull up on a creek squad, you know, and see what they had going on tonight because, of course, it was the second Thursday, you know. Mm -hmm. So I had to see what was going on. And so, yeah, you know, we, we got into some things, but I hope everyone is refreshed. I hope everyone, um, you know, it doesn't matter what time we come on. Mm -hmm. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. You, you're you going to want to know what we think, mm -hmm. you know? So with that being said, oh, yeah. um. You know, there was a lot that happened tonight. There was a lot that transpired. Um, I was melting at work listening to Trey Miguel on the commentary. I'm melting uh, right now. Look at my fucking camera. Oh, this shit going crazy. Like, what the fuck a, is going on? You're a whitewash. It's not what is happening in my distortion. Okay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We're back in action. I was fast in my camera, my fucking Ooh. screens to do right. But listen. Yes, but yes, I was melting for Trey Miguel on commentary. It's always good to see Trey Miguel, even when he's not in the ring. And then, of course, Deanna Perrazzo was also on a commentary in the first match of the night, which kicked it off. But we're not gonna get into that quite yet. You know how you know how we do, especially you know you know how we we got to get the man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Up. Luckily. <laughs> Luckily here at Women's Wrestling Talk on the Impact Post Show, we do like to, you know, we we talk about the men a lot on the Impact Post Show. I feel like more. Now, when it comes to other shows, they may give us a little more content. We didn't have really a lot of matches tonight in the two-hour span that we have, plus the 30 minutes that we got from, uh, well, a little more than 30 minutes from before the Impact, mm -hmm. of course. But I mean, listen, let's get right on to it. This, okay. Probably the match of the night besides the women's match. Mm -hmm. But Kenny King 
versus Blake Christian. And I don't know. Like, Kenny King was putting his ultimate X spot on the line for Slammiversary after, you know, kind of being coerced into doing that by Trey Miguel last week. Mm -hmm. Um, He put his money where his mouth was tonight, Paul's. And um, he did beat Blake Christian, which I felt like was really pointless. Was it pointless? I mean... I feel like, for one, they should have just kind of pulled the whole WWE thing and been like, well, if he wins, he's added to the match. Mm -hmm. That would have been, to me, I would have just liked to see Blake Christian beat Kenny King if it was that stipulation. Mm -hmm. The reason why I feel like it was pointless is because I'm not too familiar with who the hell Jake Evans is. And Jake Evans comes and push his ass on after they show all them AEW takes. And he didn't have to qualify. So... Yeah, that was kind of awkward. I felt like... I'm like, I don't... I'm not too familiar with him either. So I was like, well, what was the point of putting him in the match? Yeah. I mean, people may be familiar with who he is, but Mm -hmm. other than that, it's just kind of like... Why? That could have been Chris Bay. Mm. That easily could have been Chris Bay put up in there. Yeah. Literally. I mean, with with this win by Kenny King, Blake Christian is obviously not in the match. Jake Mm -hmm. Evans is in the match. Trey Miguel, Mike Bailey, and of course, Ace Austin are in the match. Um... I thought I had it up here. Um, I don't know what this means, honestly. Like, I don't know who's going to be the last one to be in the match. It's just kind of like, you really don't know who could be the last person in the match. You yeah. don't. It's, it's um, hard to say um, because if right now it just kind of seems like, well, okay, well, what are we going to do now? I mean... We don't know who's going to be in the match. Yeah. It would be nice to know who was going to be. But, I mean, like I said, I think the last person could be, you know, a surprise or whatever. I mean, it could it could happen next week. It could happen the week after next. It, you know, um, yeah. it really could. I mean, they have time to, to do that. So, I mean, well, they have time that they don't have time. Like, they could easily save that last spot for um, – a surprise at the show. Yeah. So That's, they could easily do that. So. Yeah. But Jake, I mean, Jack. <laughs> oh, that's so crazy because, like, honestly, like, I don't give a damn who the hell is in the fucking match. Mm-hmm. Trim Gill has to win. Like, he has to win. And. I'm not going to say that I wouldn't be surprised if Ace Austin is the next one to win. Mm -hmm. I mean, to retain um, and to win an Ultimate X match, but I don't, mm -mm, I don't know. I just, they threw me for a loop with the whole Jake Evans thing and then everyone else has to, you know. I mean, I I really can't say because I'm not familiar with, with Jake Evans. Um, yeah. I think by I know that he was recently in uh, AEW, but I don't know enough to. I don't think for me, I I, I don't even think I ever saw him in, in AEW. Yeah. For as long as I've been watching, um, I mean, they still feel like he's a heavy hitter mm-hmm. in this match, like a little wild card. Yeah, um, just to throw him in there, but. We don't, I don't, I can't really say if they say like this is where he's gonna eventually be at is yeah. impact. Mm-hmm. Um, or is he just doing an appearance because they they could have used one of their impact guys, yeah, literally. Chris they, Bay is right there, Chris Bay is right there. Well, we'll just have to see because we'll be here every Thursday, of course, post show time 11 30 central for the impact post show. Recap. Of course, we will be giving you our final predictions as we move closer and closer to Slam Anniversary. We are only technically 17 days away from the big. I mean, 
Impact 20, you guys. Like this is, we saw the um, the beginning with the old TNA, you know, taking us back. And I mean, mm -hmm. this is gonna be honestly one for the books, Nashville, Tennessee, Fairground. I honestly can't wait. Something mm -hmm. else that I was very excited for tonight though, mm -hmm. y'all know I love me some Matthew Ringwald and Rich Swan. okay? Like this match <laughs> was, mm, it was really good. Now, yeah. with this being said, Rich Swan, of course, gets the victory. Now, for those that did not watch the digital media exclusive match this week on Impact Plus, make sure you go back and see it because Rich Swan seemed to be a little empty handed this week as he beat Matt Cardona over mm -hmm. the week. He is your new digital media, uh, digital media champion. Did I say that yeah, right? you said it right. Jesus, it's like we never get to see it. Matt Cordona, what are you doing? Like, and Matt Cordona, if you're listening, he ran away with it. That's what he's doing. What he's holding that championship get process. And he wanted them in the title. Get your shit together. You have bookings. You have things going on. You're talking about this in injury and all this. Look, you need to figure it out. And you also need to return your title to Rich Swan, who is your current digital media champion. It's mm -hmm. only right. It's only right. Honestly. He's not, though. They, they're gonna check that man down. They are. <laughs> oh, they're gonna check that man down at a, at, a, at a GCW show and go get the damn title back. Okay. Because that's where he's gonna be at this weekend. That is. He's GCW, hopefully he's there. I'm praying he's there when we go to GCW in Nashville, July the 29th. Mm -hmm. Whew, fairgrounds once again. We will be there. Oh, I can't wait because honestly, Matt Cordona, you need to get your shit together. Honestly. Honestly. And Joseph says, aka Impact is so be behind on tapings. I don't think they want wanted to admit that Rich Swan is the intergender champion. I know Matt revealed he was a torn he has a torn bicep because he want defend his title at NWA always ready, not next Saturday. Well, we don't know. Because he also said that by any means necessary, he will be there. It's a pay-per-view that's his. Always ready? That's yeah. Matt Cordona. How can he not show up in Knoxville, Tennessee? Now, we will have to see on June the 11th whether or not he shows up or not. However, uh, that man is booked. And torn bicep or not, he has a championship to defend. Mm hmm He does. So he needs to get in the gym. You know, Chelsea was in the gym earlier. He should have been in there with her. He now, you know, Matt is a sassy bitch, so. He is a sassy bitch, honey. <laughs> According to Chelsea Green, baby, he is a <laughs> sassy bitch. And we love to see it. Um, Something else we love to see, of course. Now, we, we're not seeing Jay White. We're not seeing Chris Bay. But, however, we did see the Good Brothers. Yeah. You know, they came out. Uh, where's Bobby? I don't know. You leaving, you leaving it hanging? Are you mad about the whole Hell in a Cell stuff? Y'all, Santana's mean, really going through it with the whole, like... What is the future of Chris Bay in Impact Wrestling? I honestly have absolutely no idea. I mean, of course, we know that he's never going to leave Impact. I mean, he said it on multiple occasions, right? Mm -hmm. so of course, we know he's not going to leave Impact. But... Why does my camera keep going crazy like this? Like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I, don't like I don't know what's going on, but my camera go crazy at nighttime. Like, they don't end up bright myself up or something. Okay. I don't know exactly what is in the faith for Chris Bay. Like you mm -hmm. said, you know, he said that he was not leaving Impact at all whatsoever. But, I mean, of course, he has his shows on the indies and stuff yep. like that, that nature. Killing it. That maybe you know, as of right now, there may there may be not in their eyes may not be anything for him to do right now. Yeah, um, you know, what I'm saying so. I mean, with Jay White, of course, probably going over to the Forbidden Door thing, and since he is a New Japan um, signee, and plus, I mean, he just got married, so he probably on his little honeymoon. 
<laughs> um, it's a lot of superstars on their honeymoons. You got Jay White probably on his honeymoon. Camille mm -hmm. Brickhouse, she had a very uh, fine message for her next opponent, mm -hmm. uh, Kaylin, on mm -hmm. her last day in Putacana. Uh, mm -hmm. And she was smoking her blunt. Uh, <laughs> baby, Cam Camille is... She just gets better and better and better, and I love to see it. But with that being mm -hmm. said, so I don't know. I mean, uh -huh. who who really knows what what is next for Chris? It's honeymoon Day? season, child. Hmm. It's honeymoon. It is. Season. It's all this marriage and love, and I feel like every month. I feel like this has been the most weddings. Mm -hmm. That I've seen from wrestlers. Yeah, like it seems like, like I know that the pandemic like kind of slowed a lot of things mm -hmm. down, and even last mm -hmm. year slowed a lot of things down. But I mean, it's just been back to back, week after week after week. Some people get married on the same day. Like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's crazy. It's a lot to get through. It is a lot to get through. Well, one thing that was a lot to get through. I want to get married on Halloween. That's a good day. That's a good day. I don't know. I. I kind of want to get married on my birthday, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, but that's neither here nor there. We'll cross those roads <laughs> when we get there. Um, but back to the Good Brothers, they had a lot to say. They had a top 10 that goes back to when they beat um, the Briscoes over mm -hmm. and over. And they keep showing the clip. And then the Briscoes, they weren't really too fond of that. Like the Briscoes mm -hmm. came out and was like, listen, y'all funny, but um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get down to it. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Like a couple months ago, the Briscoes, I was just not a fan of them. I just, you know, now I don't think either of us were. I don't think like, who are these raggedy. <laughs> Who are these trailer park ass like barnyard barrel like? But I think the only reason why I like the Briscoes is because of their stupid video promo that they be doing, yeah. and Mark just being the back eating whatever it is that he chooses to pull out for the day. That would be, probably be me to be. That honest. would be you. You would just pull out some damn Arby's or some shit. Arby's is crazy. Day. Not too much on the Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> damn, Nikki will put on some damn Arby's in the fucking bag eating a damn sandwich, and then I'm over here trying to cut the cut a promo for us, and she out right back here eating and shit. Then she gonna come in here, not too much, trying to talk and hustling or whatever. Ain't nobody gonna understand what the hell she's saying. <laughs> um, I'm curious to know: Are you like? Do you think that the Good Brothers are going to? take these championships off of the Briscoes at Slammiversary? I would like them to. Yeah. I feel as if, like, I know that they kept saying something about the Good Brothers contract for Impact will be coming up, like, expiring soon. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, the Briscoes, I don't necessarily know if they're signed to Impact. I just know that they've been down there for a minute, like, you Quite know, just... Time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So It feels longer than what it really has been. Yeah. But, first time I saw them was at the multiverse. Yeah, my first time seeing them was at NWA. And they I oh, think they, exactly. they actually lost that night. No, they won that tag cup. Remember? It was for the, the Yeah, but they cup. won the tag top cup, but then they then they, they fought again. They came out again and they lost the titles. They were they were like so they won that cup mm -hmm. and then they Fought that match. They went on in the cup to face. I thought the champions. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm just. I could have sworn they came. Which, I, don't I don't know. That was crazy. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. NWA was crazy. So that's why I was excited to see them at the multiverse because I felt like it was not my territory, but it definitely felt more. You know, I didn't, I didn't know what they expected. The NWA child. It was definitely, definitely. You know. Bobby, definitely like. I mean, it was at the fairground. How long given? I'm, I'm still very upset about Trash Morgan <sighs> being enough the place. We are not. We will save all of our Liv Morgan slander <laughs> for Sunday night. And just a quick reminder, you guys: 
course, we, we are the queens of post shows, okay? So not only are we giving you the Impact post show for tonight, we will be back Saturday. Can you believe it? We will be back Saturday for NXT in your house. And then again, mm-hmm. twice on Sunday, once for Turnbuckle Glam, and then again, I wish I had like little pictures that would pop up, again for in the future, right? Um, mm-hmm. And then again for Hell in the Cell. All I'm gonna say is, I hope she fucking lose. And yeah, when she lose. Let's get motherfucking loud. Oh, my God. I, I have one time. Uh, I when she lose, I'm so happy. I was too to see happy. I was happy to see Trey on commentary as well. Um, we had talked about it a little, little bit earlier, but yeah, he gave his insight on Kenny King and Blake Christian. And of course, Trey Miguel and Blake Christian have a lot of respect for one another. Um, as far as him and Kenny King, I'm not sure. Check out the video on uh, his Twitter and his Instagram where he blows smoke in Kenny King's face during a chokehold. Um, very amusing. I tell you, Trey is, I tell y'all every week, Trey is the GOAT. Like, Mm, just love to see it. But yeah, um, moving right along, you guys. Of course, all the all everything went on with the good brothers and the Briscoes. But then we see Josh Alexander, you know, he was not too happy when he was talking to Gia Miller. He also was not too happy when he was attacked when he was with Gia Miller by Violent by Design. He then goes on and proceeds to talk to Scott DeMora about everything that has transpired. Now, he requested to have one of them in the ring, and that will take place next week. Now, is this a smart decision for Josh Alexander, the Impact World Champion, currently now, to be going face-to-face with Joe Dorn of Violent by Design just days before his explosive match. I'm like, I don't know. I don't think this is a good idea. I mean, at least you know he's a fighting champion. I just feel as if, like, I don't, I mean, it could, it, it, it just depends. It could end up in a bad idea. Yeah. You know, I mean, of course, we know that maybe Violent by Design will pop out mm. somehow, some way, and attack him. But it's like, well, who, who can Josh call on Mm-hmm. to be a lending hand or a lending help in the midst of this sort of like three on one situation. Although, you know, come Slammer versus is going to be a one on one match. It's not guaranteed that we won't really, we'll see an interference by, you know, the other two. Yeah. It's possible. You know what I'm saying? So then it's like, well, who is Josh going to call on to even out the odds a bit as he's in the ring trying to defend his title against Eric Young. So. Well, I mean, listen, we do know for sure this is going to happen. We do know that I'm sure Doreen and Dina are going to be somewhere close. If not, maybe we may see Eric Young walk into this by himself because let's just be honest, as much as we don't care for Eric Young, Eric Young is TNA. Mm-hmm. Eric Young is Impact. And when it comes to Slammiversary and Impact 20, I honestly feel like Eric Young is going in with the biggest upper hand that I've seen in a very long time. And I honestly Mm -hmm. don't know who it would be, but if I had to fantasy book, I would love to see Kurt Angle and I would love to see AJ Styles come Mm -hmm. and- Which I ain't gonna bring Stain. I'll give you one better. Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> yeah. hey, listen, down the I mean, it's and only right. The guitar the thing though, it's it. only right. It's only right if you have Jeff Jarrett. Oh, absolutely. He he just signed or, or he's backstage out. with WWE right now, too. Hear me out. They bring out Jerry Lawler. <laughs> Girl, that racist <laughs> ass bitch. Memphis, Tennessee on. We in Nashville. Oh, that would piss me off so bad. 
Justin says, I could see a case over the next two episodes where Josh faces the other members each week. And if he wins, it's one-on-one. -on -one. I could see a case where Josh is nervous and says, I can't beat Eric Young without violin by design at ringside. Now, that's very interesting. Those are two very interesting tags. So that means that, let's say, like, if he beats both of the tag, those two guys, before mm -hmm. Eric Young, he, he would need to beat both of them so that both of them could be banned from ringside. Correct. That would be the a way to ease even up the stipulation like that. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Um, or if they choose to try to come out, then, you know, of course, you can have Somebody of you know maybe Josh should call a friend to see if they would you know all call a couple friends. What um, if um now I may it may sound crazy me asking this because like I say I don't I don't know too much about the men um, mm -hmm. especially when it comes in wrestling no matter what promotion it is is Ken Ken Sham Shamrock is he still living? Kim Shamrock. Ken Shamrock. Ken Shamrock. Yeah, he's still okay. living. Maybe he'll come back. He still does MMA stuff. Yeah, yeah he still, maybe he'll he still come back or like Abyss or somebody. I was I just looking at people who are in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, you Ken know? Is cool. He's still alive. He's still alive. Because I, you know, I would have been like, I would have been like, and y'all know, baby, I'm deep in the trenches. I, I would have been like, uh, name somebody and then they couldn't come, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, Ken Ken Shamrock, he still wrestles. Well, not wrestle, but he does MMA uh, yeah. to this day. Um, unless he may retire. But the last thing I know, he was doing MMA, but he might still be. Child, they don't bring you right to me, Jeremy. Keep playing. No, I think it's honestly like it could be Abyss or like, okay, so let's just get to it. Because now, okay, mm -hmm. okay, this match, yada, yada, yada. You know, they did their thing. <laughs> Hustle and tussled in the ring, blah blah blah. <laughs> you gotta tell it right, Nikki. I mean, girl. <laughs> Honestly, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's just let's just tell it right then. After you know the match, uh -huh. of course, Matt Taven and Mike Bennett they defeat Eddie Edwards, um, even though he wasn't in the damn match. They, you know, they still give him the victory, you know, Eddie Edwards, you know, and they defeat Heath and Rhino. Yeah. Great. Okay. But obviously, after the match, mm -hmm. chaos breaks out. When in the hell is Anna No More going to quit with all the chaos? Tony Khan, I'm going to need you to figure out what you're doing with Ring of Honor so you can get... Now, I'm going to miss Eddie Edwards because I love... I really... I truly love Eddie Edwards. Mm -hmm. Top three for me right now as far as active men when it comes to... If there was no Trey Miguel, I say this all the time. If there was no Trey, Eddie would be my top guy. Mm -hmm. He's he's so slept on. But here's the thing. When the hell are they going to be done raining, raining havoc? Because now we have to figure out who are going to be their partners. Mm -hmm. When Alex and Chris and Frankie all have to go up against Anna No More, Eddie Edwards, Matt Taven, Mike Bennett, Vincent, and PCO. Baby, they finna get their ass kicked. Do you hear me? Who is? I honestly think that Team Impact is going to get their ass kicked. But we don't know who the other two people are, though, Nikki. I don't feel like it matters. It does matter. Yeah. If you honestly think that Unless the Impact Originals are going to get their ass be about a people who just got put together? Yeah. Honestly. Honestly. That says a lot about how much you hear about Impact. Oh, wow. Are you are you are you going with honor no more? Off to the win. strength, off the strength of Eddie Edwards. You don't give a damn about these other people <laughs> behind here. Let's be honest. You can care less. You honestly, basically, no, 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 shut up. Basically, it's Eddie <laughs> Edwards versus Impact Originals. Yeah. I don't give a damn. I don't want to hear none of that shit you're talking about. You don't care about none of these people back here. All they is a fucking. Unless it's Kurt, though. No, no, no. Unless it's Kurt. Now, if they have Kurt no. on the team, then. 
I don't want to. That changes the landscape a lot. But hell yeah, I think I think any of us gonna put put on a little more. I don't want to hear none of it. Yeah, yeah. Off the strength of Eddie Edwards is crazy though. (laughs) (laughs) At this point, it's Eddie Edwards versus Impact Originals. (laughs) Oh, these are some good ones. Christopher Daniels or James Storm. Okay. I know I saw somebody said Ace and Eights. Um, they Mm. had Bubba Ray Devon, uh, Ken Anderson, Well, Mr. Anderson, um, John Morris. I'm trying to think who else. There were some more people in that whole little yeah. faction there. But I know some of them about them to um, that group, uh, picking someone from them to be a part. Well, look, whoever it is, any Edwards, listen, you got it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you got it, dude. It and should be. We know that Impact loves their 10 man tags, and this is going to be chaos. And pandemonium and i'm actually i'm a little more excited because rhino is not in the match so oh, i don't have to see that you know and i know Who a lot they of add heat though girl please i booed that man but he's he, not considered to be an original though he's like, you gonna boo me hell yeah i don't give a fuck about you or your kids but he's not Ooh. considered to be an original though so i wouldn't no he's not absolutely anymore. not now, so right original, yeah, right now would be an original, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. but we're talking originals, um, yeah, uh, Bully, Bully Ray, mm-hmm. Devon, yeah, uh, Ken Shamrock, yeah, um, Jeff Jarrett, Kurt Angle, Abyss. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe so let's many. Check it, let's check it out. I'm excited, y'all. Listen, listen, we are excited. I'm gonna brace myself. We I'm are there. Now, one thing that I have to say before we get done with the men is commenting on the match, of course, between Moose and Steve Macklin as a oddly team and another oddly team, W. Morrissey and PCO. Now, it has been reported that Morrissey is moving on from Impact Wrestling and it's really not clear on what he will be doing, you know, moving forward. He did pick up the win. Um, however... Mm. What happened soon after? Of course, we see, I mean, Sammy Callahan, right? And I'm sorry, I'm I'm sorry to correct. Moose and Steve Macklin actually were the ones that defeated Morrissey and PCO. Um, and then of course we see Sammy Callahan let it be very known that Moose, you you gonna have to you gonna have to pay the piper. They need to give us Moose and Sammy Callahan, and they need to go ahead and announce it because I feel like that's the one match that's lacking. Like, yeah, I feel like this, they could put it on for they. I mean, they're they're. I mean, of course, they're building this feud between them, picking yeah. back where they left, where it, you know it left off at, and yeah. I mean, it could be for some anniversary. It could be against all odds. Um, it, it, it varies on that. Yeah. Um, but I think it'd be great to add to some anniversary, but it, you know, I mean, I'm just, I don't know. Yeah. I think it'd be one of those that I mean, like, I love how see? consistent he's staying. At mm, least, you know. Eerie show up at Impact Wrestling Subversary? Oh, wow. Maybe they'll throw him in the exhibition match. I wonder, I, I have still have yet to get an update on Charlie Haas. Because you know he got injured at the show that we went to at Hard to Get. I thought he was okay. Oh, that was well, the I, impact. It was at the impact table when he. No, it was. I was there. I was just trying to figure out like was were we was that after Hard to Kill or was that Slug? That was after Hard to Hard Kill. To kill. Yeah, it was because Josh Alexander was trying to you know climb his way to the top. Mm-hmm. I don't know. They need to hurry up and, and they need to hurry up and honestly announce the match because with Morrissey being out, which I'm. I got to be very honest. I'm very surprised that Morrissey is not, you know, continuing on with Impact Wrestling. I don't know what he'll go on to do. There's been rumors of him going back to AEW, well, going to AEW as he's had a match there one time. Um, there's also rumors of him going back to WWE where money could be the biggest asset. However, of course, we all know there might be complications with that as Carmella is a current, you know, 
superstar and she has made, you know, they have their past. Um, and so that could be a conflict, but we never know. A WWE is WWE. They're going to do whatever the hell they want to do. I personally um, got got a chance to watch Morrissey a few times, and he is truly a talent. Um, I don't want to see him leave Impact. I actually wanted him to be the one to defeat Josh Alexander after, you know, after some time, but mm-hmm. that did not happen. Um, now, remember... Josh Alexander was in the same predicament where his contract was not renewed and Mm -hmm. there were thoughts of him leaving Impact. I even cried. Um, And then he comes back. Mm -hmm. So we could see anything. This could be a a work that's been got that, Mm -hmm. I kid you not, that's been like the word of the freaking week with all that MJF mess going on and stuff. It's been going on since Sasha and Naomi. That's true too. That is true. Um, but yeah, we will see what happens with W. Morrissey. Um, but of course, that is all for the men's action that we have for Impact Wrestling. Woo! Woo! Now it is time to move on to the women. Now, on the show itself, we only saw one women's match. However, there was a few segments that we saw, so we'll get into that a little. That's my ice maker. Oh, <laughs> a little late. I just think it's a shootout. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm like, what the hell is that? Um, before the impact, of course, you know, I'm over there on the Women's Wrestling Talk page live tweeting throughout the whole show. And, of course, we covered before the impact with Alicia. Now, I don't know if she's dropping her last name because of Eddie, which is crazy. I just noticed this. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, of course, against uh, someone who is returning back to impact, it seems, Renee Michelle. Now we have done an interview with Renee Michelle where she talks about um, she really opens up about her time in Japan to make sure you check that out. It was Alicia who did gain the victory. However, and don't forget you guys, the Impact Recap is already out. So make sure you check that out. Um, Written by me, of course, and of course, edited and made sure that it was ready to go by our editor in chief, Santana. Um, but Alicia gets the victory, and after mm-hmm. that, Masha Slamovich comes out. Mm-hmm. And she gives her something, like a little folder. She gives her a gift. Alicia doesn't even open it. Now, I personally am not going to lie. This is why y'all need to watch Before the Impact. Because for people that like story, they're giving story on Before the Impact which is crazy, right? Mm -hmm. We don't even find out until Gia Miller catches up with Alicia during Impact. And we see a picture, a black and white photo of Alicia comes out. Mm -hmm. And then boom, X marks the spot. It looks like Masha Slamovich has her eye on Alicia Edwards and wants to add her to that kill wall. Mm -hmm. Now, what I love about this segment is that it gave us suspense, it gave us story, but then here comes Gis- Giselle Shaw with some damn comedic aspects, trying to figure out what it is in her in her very you know artsy voice, and then she says, "No, I'm not gonna play with you. Masha is gonna kill you." Yeah, simple. And in that order. And in that order, we love a good friend who can keep it real and keep it honest. Right, mm-hmm. yeah. and that's exactly what Giselle Shaw is doing with Alicia. Mm-hmm. What do you think about all of this? Like, how do you think? Like, we literally just came from like weeks of talking about like what are they mm-hmm. going to do with the impacts that are not, you know, the knockouts that are not involved in the Queen of the Mountain, and now we're getting like so much. W- w- what are your thoughts? I mean, I think it's great. You know, we're finally at least starting to figure out what Masha's reasoning for being in Impact. Mm-hmm. Like, seeing her outside of Impact is so different from, like, her hair, her look. Mm-hmm. She doesn't she doesn't look the same outside of Impact. Mm-hmm. You know, in Impact, she has a distinctive look. Um, although, yes, we know that she's been given a lot of these little squash matches. It's just a way to kind of build her up, try to build some type of character. 
um, for her and everything of that nature. We're finally getting a chance to see a little bit of a personality or, or trying to figure out exactly what her purpose is of being a part of Impact. And mm -hmm. she's making it known that she's growing this kill wall of women, rest, well, the knockouts division, and she wants to take each and every last one of them out. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Mm -hmm. She doesn't give a damn who you are, if you're the champion or not. She's make, she's she's doing like a timeline of uh, the knockouts division and going in a specific order of who she wants to um, end it all with. Who will be the do last you, person on her kill? Do you think that she will at any moment be able to face someone like a Velvet Sky or Angelina Love or someone who is or even Gail Kim if she gets mm -hmm. back in the ring. Do you do you think that they're going to work her all the way or or, or do you just think she's going to kind of just stay in a certain path? I think if she was to go after a Gail Kim or an Austin mm -hmm. Kong or a Jazz, you know, I think that this would allow her to have some type of Neurality, mm -hmm. in a sense, like more so of saying, like, okay, she's she destroyed Gil Kim, she destroyed mm -hmm. Austin Khan, she destroyed Jazz, mm -hmm. Angelina Love, Velvet Sky, Madison Rain. I mean, she's just going in, like, but they're not, but these are not squash matches. All she's actually going right. out there putting on matches with these women, you know, and beating them all. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, I'm here for it. Yeah. I'm glad we got a video package of it first of what she was trying to do before kind of starting it out with it. Um, and for Alicia to be like her first the first person, well, not necessarily well, the more so the first person we kind of now get to see this whole kill wall thing happening, then it seemed like this is how she's going to introduce herself to her next to her opponents. Yeah. She's gonna give them a picture of the X mark on their face just to let them know, like, you're next. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was distracted a little bit because, um, side note, there's a Thunder Rosa fan page that just followed me, and they're going to freak when they find out I'm not, like, the biggest Thunder Rosa fan. <laughs> But shout out to them because they do show us a lot of love on Women's First and Talk. And, of course, my opinions are not – well. The Salt Shakers' opinions are not the representation of women's wrestling talk as a whole. We stand on what our opinions are, and, you know, we get a little spicy. So, uh, mm -hmm. just wanted to point that out. Um, but, yeah, I don't know what the hell Masha Slamovich got up her sleeve. But let me just tell you, if you're listening, don't put me on the damn wall. I ain't got shit for you. You can put me on the wall. I'm going to lay down, and I'll right. be a sacrifice. Okay, one, two, three, baby, it'll be squash. And I ain't got no credentials. So you, you ain't gonna get I it. give up me elbow drop. <laughs> Don't fucking play with me. <laughs> 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 oh man, that is funny. What's next for um do we see? I hope I really hope we see Renee really like come back. I would like to see more of her. She I mean, looks so freaking good. I hope she posts so I, I can include her. She always her. looks good. Like oh I don't think God. there's been a, a moment where she she hasn't. And if yeah. she has, I couldn't tell. She's a uh she's like she's gorgeous. She's like I just thought uh, look at uh, Layla Gray like huh? What if Spud comes back? Oh girl <laughs> what, if, what if he's either in the oh my god, what if he's in the freaking tag match? Or what if he's in the ultimate X match? I mean, we'll have to find out and see, right? Bruh. Oh my goodness. I just got so hyped because like I mean we, we James we, could we, come we, back. Spud. Oh my god. Spud. Oh my god. Oh, she is a I forgot. Thank oh. you. Uh, I wrote, one of my writers, uh, Abby, um, wrote that article, Nyla Rose. Mm -hmm. um, we'll, we'll dive into all the articles that will be dropping oh, this month. Sure. 
um, for you guys that you know. I got I, I got so sorry, y'all. What if they come back as a couple? I wouldn't mind. What if they face the Cordonas? I said, oh my god, please, y'all, check out the interview. We we need we need a hashtag Renee back in Impact, Spud back in Impact. We might see it. Who knows? Renee Spud back in Impact. So please, Lord, we might have to watch some of his uh, matches. You haven't seen any of his matches? No, I have. When I first um, when I first got the Impact Plus app, I would just let it run. Mm-hmm. And I should do that. I don't know why when I say I don't have anything to watch. Um, I'm actually, <laughs> between us, I might actually cancel my Impact Plus and go and be a YouTube insider because I just feel like, mm, I, I think don't between know. you and me when this is live. I said you, you and us. Who I mean, I said so? me and us. <laughs> the viewers. Oh, I thought you meant like me and my other people because I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I was not going to like Listen, moving right along. Oh, this is a good one, Bobby. Start it right now, and I am going to. Yes, yes. This oh, is what God. we need. Um, before we get into this, I'm going to say someone's name, and I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. Ty Vacary. <laughs> That's that's all I have to say. Um, but moving right along, the one match that we did get tonight, of course, an amazing, uh, honestly, one of the best openings we've had. Well, that's not true because <laughs> Trey opened last week. Uh, but but one of, <clears throat> yeah, just a really good opening because, yeah. Because, yeah, Trey opened last week. And Trey's, Trey's known for opening on the pay-per-views, too. But Savannah and Mia Yim, definitely going to go down as one of the matches of the years, um, of the of this year, honestly. I personally enjoyed this match from top to bottom. I personally just feel like there needs to be something said to the talent of Savannah Evans. Now we know what works and what has been working for Mia Yim being in WWE, being in NXT, now being an impact. Now she's ranking, ranking, ranking wins. This is the momentum that she probably is going to feed off of going into Slammiversary. Mm -hmm. So much about this match, but I just want to, for a second, can we admire the talent of Savannah Evans? My mm-hmm. God, I mean, a powerhouse dominance, presence in the ring. She's, we don't get to hear her talk as much. We saw Deanna on commentary and Deanna was talking about her being the insurance policy. My mm-hmm. God, be my insurance policy. Because wow. I can say I am beyond impressed with Savannah Evans. One of my mm-hmm. first matches that I got to see her in the ring one-on-one was when she faced Mickey James. Yeah. And that match, so stellar. And I think that Savannah Evans um, eventually, let's just say that Tasha Steeles, the boy equal badass, retains and becomes the first ever queen of the mountain. Let's just say. I do believe that Savannah on Evans June on Juneteenth, which, is, which would be very historical. Historical for her and Mia Yim as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but let's just say, even if it isn't Tasha, I still think that Savannah Evans should be moving up in the ranks. Now, it, we know how this works. Eventually, Savannah's probably going to turn. Let's mm-hmm. just be honest. We, we don't know when it's going to happen. Or they may just split. You know, they may just go their separate ways. Mm-hmm. Something needs to happen because, honestly, Savannah Evans... That's a good sign. Like, I'm I'm so happy that, and of course, here at Women's Are Some Talk, we were given that exclusive on Savannah Evans signing to Impact Wrestling. And honestly, I feel like within the next six months, we're going mm-hmm. to be talking about Savannah Evans in main events. We're going to be talking about her being included in these historical matches. And I believe mm-hmm. that people really should pay attention on what she's doing um, in the Carolinas 
and you know in other promotions and she travels and she's all it's almost like she's just like a lot of the kids in impact she's wrestling like almost every week mm -hmm. um, so just wanted to say that because you know it's not always about the wins and losses um sometimes it's always about what you cook up in the stew as i like to say and this stew would be the ring um and what she did tonight and what me and Yim did tonight was <laughs> was <laughs> immaculate, honestly, very immaculate. And th this this is what makes women's wrestling so special because the progression and the growth that we've seen over just five to six years um, and even over the, the last uh, year, honestly, mm -hmm. especially with, with the enhancement of impact really getting back to their foundation stellar so yeah i think it's everything i mean you know like like just said, say it is sometimes hard for us to forget you know the how good she is because she is known for you know kind of just being the person on the sidelines helping tasha seals mm -hmm. but when savannah is in the ring i mean she's a, a a phenomenal wrestler i feel like she has a lot of chemistry with a lot of women yeah. whether they're in a tag team together or they're doing or singles and whatnot i would love to see savannah be in the ring a lot more yeah um I don't know why they don't put her in the ring a lot more, but I would love to see her be in the ring a lot more. Yeah, me you know too, I mean? because I think that'd be it'd be a great way to kind of get people to understand like she's just not someone on the sidelines for Tasha Steele. Like this girl can actually put on a solid match, and she did that with Mia Yim. And for Mia Yim to, you know, haven't been wrestling for a long for you know a long time since the, you know, the release from WWE and getting back to wrestling on the Indies and. Having her first show, having her first singles match um, this week really shows that, okay, Mia Yim has really improved. She still got it. She can still go. Um, and so on and so forth. So, I mean, like, I'm excited. I am too. Um, so. I'm ready to see what she, how she gets involved. Um, pertaining more to this match, though, we saw everyone come out tonight that's going to be involved in the Queen of the Mountain match, except Chelsea Green. Now, Chelsea, I know we've been in close contact. We've even, you know, honestly, Chelsea, I I feel like I feel like you're my big sister sometimes, you know? Where the hell were you when I needed you? Now I know you and Matt got things going on, but Chelsea, I can't have another week. You just came back last week and you really gave it to Jordan Grace. You, you really did. I know a lot of people are underestimating you, these internet trolls. But I need you next week. So please, Chelsea, or anybody, if you've seen Chelsea, tell her to please come come to Impact and stay just for a little while. Um, in our poll this week, let's <laughs> <laughs> stay a while. <laughs> <laughs> In our poll earlier, you guys, y'all voted. Thank you to everyone who voted. Who wins? Vote now. Of course, me and Yim or Savannah Evans. I am the one person who voted for Savannah Evans, if you want to know. Um, wow. but, <laughs> <laughs> but everybody... <laughs> wow, it's crazy. Everyone else voted for um for, for me and you. Yeah, I voted for Savannah. I did. Um You trying to show you just, just went with you just, we have merge. No, I did. I voted for Savannah. Like I don't know. I really thought <laughs> Y'all, you know, I have my conspiracy theories with this uh, whole you match. Do. We had Deanna. First of all, we had Deanna Perrazzo looking good as hell. She looked on really good. Like, commentary. Tasha Steeles was just sitting there. Tasha was like then, somebody auntie from the 90s. I said she that. Did, she was like somebody auntie did. from the 90s that just smoked a cigarette and just brought her talent <laughs> here to wrestle and fight. That's it. She said, come <laughs> on, baby. But let me tell you, let's just be honest. The way Jordan banged her, though. Hey, listen. That's what I was like, what the fuck? I was like, <laughs> she came out of nowhere and don't Tasha up with the eighth I, I was like, like, it was crazy. I was like, oh, my God. 
It and you know, I know we talked about this last week in regards to what could really happen. I feel like we were kind of a little spot on a little bit. Minus who could come out and actually save or help me get him. You know? Yeah. And, I mean, Jordan Grace is, I mean, super save a hoe. I mean, Listen, I love you, Jordan. Jordan anything like, else. You, you, don't save you, need somebody. Get, you need to get with the winning team. Jordan, like, if Jordan don't do nothing else, she's going to save somebody. She's going to save somebody, but you need to get with the winning team. Who is that? Deanna Brown. <laughs> I had to think because I'm like, I really don't even... Who was the one? I'm so confused. Oh. At this point, honestly, let's just be honest. <laughs> Queen of the Mountain. Her story is made once again by the Knockouts Division, the greatest women's division of all time. Tasha Steeles, the current Impact Knockouts World Champion, will be defending her title in a Queen of the Mountain match for the first time you guys this is so like i can't reiterate this enough this is so monumental she will be going up against diana perrazzo chelsea green jordan grace and mia yim it is very evident that we need a six woman knockouts tag team champion i mean tag team um match I want to see Savannah Evans and Tasha Steeles versus Chelsea Green and Deanna Perrazzo versus Mia Yim and Jordan Grace. I'm calling it now. They're going to announce it. We still have two weeks. You're on mute. It has to happen the week before. That would be lit. It's it's a must. It has to happen like on the last episode before we get to Slammiversary. Can I add one? And then it ends in like a big brawl. Can I add one more team? Who are you going to add? Taya Valkyrie. And Rosemary? Boom. There it is. And next week, you guys, <laughs> Rosemary <laughs> will be facing off with one half of the of the Impact Knockouts World Tag Team Champions, of course, to Neil Dashwood. Now, before we jump back into the Queen of the Mountain match, of course, Rosemary and Tennille, I mean, I'm sorry, Tennille and Madison decided to bring Rosemary a little gift of makeup. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. Madison, I love you, but you are barking up the wrong tree. We saw Crazy Steve and Black Taroose come out for defense of Rosemary, but Mm -hmm. I'm just going to leave you guys with this. I don't think it ends there. No. Where is Havoc? And what is Rosemary going to do? Because the tag team championships at this moment are not placed anywhere on the card for Slammiversary. Mm-hmm. The only thing that we know is this match will be taking place. Like we said, this this little cheetah get up she got on is cute as hell, though. I ain't even going to lie. I just realized that. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. I'm just saying. Talking about some glam. I mean, I feel like you a cheetah person. Like, I'm very much so. I used to, girl, you remember the cheetah in the red? Oh. Hold, that's a hole. Go. That's for the hoes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if she put on cheetah with a red lip. Yeah. She She's a hoe. But yeah, next week. Garden tool. You guys, and we, we listen, we don't slut shame over here at Women's Wrestling Talk. Not at all. We love Not our hoes. Be who you are. Of course, and that brings us. Let yourself be proud. I'm gonna keep this in here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, thank you always for joining us here. That was the impact recap, of course. Before we get out of here, we're gonna give you a whole spill of what we have for this month. But of course, I'm gonna keep saying it over and over again. Me this is gonna win. Big, bro. Like, I don't, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. But I do think I'm honestly like I think Deanna's gonna come out. Like, pause. I think she's gonna be the winner. Honestly, like I just. Hell, Tasha could retain. And you know, Deanna said it tonight. You know, Tasha keeps wanting to say that she's the history maker. Let's not forget what Deanna was doing. Like. Mm-hmm. I'm normally, and I've told this to Chelsea too. I'm normally torn when it comes to Chelsea, Tasha, and Deanna, but hell no, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm I can't straddle the fence anymore, ladies. I'm telling you now, D 
Deanna Perrazzo. We are in the age and we are forever still in the age of the virtuoso, Deanna Perrazzo. And she will be your queen of the mountain. Or Tasha Steele, she might retain. Who knows? Chelsea might pull a fast one. Jordan might knock everyone the fuck out. And then there's no one there. Mia Yim coming back to Impact might become the new. Crazy. You see how I use all of them? Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Well, I'm going to just use one. Because at the end of the day, me and him are going to come out on top. And for that, we might as well just... Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Um, Let's go ahead and run down the weeks. Well, tomorrow, today is Friday, obviously. And I mean, SmackDown, Rampage, I would be on there alone. Um... Unless Nikki decides she wants to pop in, which she will. I'm actually to. am. I'm actually coming live, you guys, from mm-hmm. my job. If you don't know, um, I am an assistant general manager at a hotel. I do that five mm-hmm. times a week, um, and that's normally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, sometimes four, sometimes three. No, but um, I will. I will be here tomorrow, um, and oh, Lord. it's not for sure, but we honestly might do a late show tomorrow. Mm-hmm. We might just wait until later to do the show. So Probably that probably around the same time it was tonight because yeah, because normally, because it- honestly, normally, I mean, if we're going back to you know regular. Hours, I think. Yeah, I I think for for dynamite, well, for rampage actually. Yeah, rampage won't end till ten anyway. So you'll mm-hmm. probably see us about eleven fifteen, eleven thirty. Mm-hmm. Um, because that's just you know yeah. for for the salt shakers, we love later promotions. That's probably why we're going to GCW at ten thirty Central I mean, Time. Literally, I can't wait. I I can't freaking wait. I gotta make sure I take me a nap. Y'all don't understand. Like I, I have to take me a nap, even yeah. because I'll be arriving in in Nashville the same day. Yeah. So. Yeah. I need to take so Santana will settle in. Um, I'm. I hope I don't have to work that day, but I'm probably gonna have to work that day and just leave. Um, mm-hmm. My job is literally, of course, you guys. If you don't know, Santana will be in my neck of the woods in Nashville, Tennessee. For Slam anniversary and also GCW as well. So um, mm-hmm. we can't wait. We're going to try to give you some GCW after shows. Um, we can try to. I mean, they, their shows are normally on Sundays anyway. Yeah, we're going to see so what we Saturdays can do. Saturdays or Sundays, it really They have a lot weird. coming up. And we. Uh, GCW is the summer for, for a lot of the shows. And I mean, I yeah. think it would be great if we could Cover. Um, give you some GCW, like. Yeah. Even though it's considered to be indies, like you know, but I don't think nobody really yeah. talk about GCW the way that we talk about mm-hmm. GCW. No interaction, like yeah. Game we're changes. making our debut next next month. We you are. Know? I can't believe it, honestly. Like I'm so. We are like, officially 16 days away from same anniversary. Yes. Yeah, we got to get a countdown for GCW. We're I there. honestly can't wait. But, of course, you guys, on Saturday, we will be here again. Now, before that, you'll have an all-indie show, all things indies, with, of course, our hosts, Mika, Katrina, and Emily. They'll be breaking down all of the things indies. Um, So, for our indies lovers, make sure you check that out. And then, of course, Saturday night, NXT, in your house. We're going to be here, 1130. In your house. We're going to be in your house house here. Literally. Um, And then again on Sunday, of course, we'll be um, teaming with the Dynamite Dolls on Sunday for Turnbuckle Glam. And then we'll be back again that night for Hell in the Cell. Um, That match card is really small. So, yeah, it's probably not going to be, but the matches are going to be longer. The matches are definitely going to be longer. It is. Um, Definitely not going to be an AEW double or nothing. They could have been like two hours. That shit. That shit was crazy. Um, but then again, we will be back. The Salt Shakers, the dominating, the only dominating tag team in women's wrestling talk history, of course, will be here Monday Night Raw post show. Um, we are we will be pausing on the news for a while, you guys. So no news for this month. 
um, we'll be doing a lot of other things. So make sure you check that out on the writing side. Uh, most of the news will be written for the month. So we'll try to keep up with all of that. You know, of course, Santana, our editor in chief, does an amazing job picking up any of the slack that I tend to uh, not pick up um, as your senior writer, of course. Um, and big shout out to the writers. Of course, we'll get the, to that to the end. Um, but then on Tuesdays, we don't have any shows. So just make sure you're watching all the replays. Wednesday nights, of course, of course, Dynamite Dolls will be here for AEW Dynamite. Um, check out their post show that they just recently did yesterday, of course. Be well, Wednesday, technically. Uh, well, no, it was yesterday. It was Thursday. They did it early yeah. Thursday. They did it. Um, Al was at the show and they were having some technical difficulties. So they did the show on Thursday. So make sure you check that out. That is live here on Twitch. You can still watch that show um, and watch for all of Al's. Um, Al was actually at the show along with TK as well, our CEO. So make sure you check that out. And then all over again, you guys, Thursday, you will have the NXT and NXT UK recap show with the Soul Sisters. Is that what you got them? I was calling the sisterhood. The sisterhood. Well, I'm gonna call them the soul sisters. Katrina, Katrina <laughs> and Stephanie <laughs> will be here on Thursday. And then of course, on Thursday again. Now you won't get the creep squad next week, unfortunately. So make sure you checked out that video earlier. Um, Bobby said he was having a good time. I was having a good time too. It's always so funny um and so much fun and so open. That's what we love here at Women's Wrestling Talk. But again, next Thursday. We will be here. And on next Thursday, we will only be 10 days away from Slammer Versary. And this is gonna be real quick. I gotta go take care of some business the weekend before <sighs> that I'm not, you know, too happy about. But after yeah, Thursday, Nikki has right? to go overseas. <laughs> Lay down. So, Nikki's got like a, a solo book performance. Um, I'm going to be resting for the whole weekend. I'm going to be resting and chilling. Um, I'm thankful for the time off. No, um, we'll still be in, in. We'll still be in contact until it cuts off. We'll be in contact, but you're going to find me sleeping most of the time. So, oh, like I said, I'm going to be chilling. You know, I'll be sleeping too. <laughs> And then I'll get my ass up on Sunday and I will be giving you live footage um, from Battle Slam June the 12th. You guys, I am, listen, y'all don't understand. Y'all do not understand. How, when I say black on black on black, Battle Slam is really finna be this go around. I went to Vendetta. Mm -hmm. This is for, this is fight for ATL, baby. And mm -hmm. The big dog himself. Now I ain't talking about Roman Reigns stinking ass. I'm talking about <laughs> I'm talking about a little scrappy money in the bank. Shot it with your drink in the building. The Oasis in Vincent is going down. I wish I was on the radio so I could do like a, a crazy promo for them. Um, but yeah, you guys. So I don't know. Did we lose Santana? Oh, she got a call. My bad. I got, you know, sometimes my phone blow up at random times and I don't know. Random times is crazy. It's 12 30 at night, child. It ain't nobody but Polo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Polo. No. Um, no. You guys, yes. That was it. As um, we move over to the writer side of things, because I, yeah. I let Nikki handle the hosting and run down the whole week and I do the writing side. So, um, of course, you know, uh, this month is LGBTQIA plus pride month. I just love saying it because I'm not, I'm not I, I, will say, I say LGBTQ plus. That's mm -hmm. all. I've noticed that a lot of wrestlers, LGBTQIA that's what they say. Plus, I, I've, I've found out all of the acronyms and I've learned how to say it now, so I'm going to keep saying it. Plus pride month. And um, this is all Nikki's uh, suggestion. Um, we honestly probably didn't really have anything planned for June. It was going to kind of be like a, a break for us since we're kind of going like back to back a little bit. And so Nikki was like, well, what are we going to do for what TK going to have to do for this month? I know we say this, we say this shit every week, but it's just to let people know like this is exactly how I started because of Nikki. Literally. But honestly, I don't mind it because I thoroughly enjoy the fact that we we have a platform that allows us to discuss um 
or just just be a part of the community. And, and with us having people on our team that are of the community, mm-hmm. I think that it's a great way to allow them to share their experience and share their stories and talk about people that may have inspired them or that they can relate to Mm -hmm. um, and talk about their experience and so on and so forth. So I think it's a great thing. Although, you know, we see a lot of these major publications talk trash on the community and and say all types of negative and disgusting and degrading things and whatnot. Um, But here at Women's Wrestling Talk, we, we support everybody. Yeah. You know, all cultures, all heritage, all communities. We we support mm-hmm. it all. Oh, um, we're 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 so we're so inclusive. Mm-hmm. We really are. Um, and so I think that it's it's great for for us. And and I, I feel like it wouldn't be right to not do anything this month when we have people on our team who are a part of the community. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I think that it's great. So I want to say every day we will have articles dropping. Um, as of right now, it, it has we, really- we we gonna have it every day. I'm like y'all. <laughs> we we it. The one thing that we're noticing is two things: either the lack of information, or making sure that we're actually including people who not rumors, mm-hmm. not fans posting about it. Like, like actual, truly like truly saying that they're that from the community. Them. Right. And there may be people that may have, may are a part of the community, mm-hmm. but if they're not openly active yeah. and we're safe, not, we're not going to cover them. Because cover we don't want to we don't want to be responsible for putting that out there, and yeah. then they're actually not. So we're the focal point is more so about highlighting those, highlighting wrestlers or just people in the wrestling world. Mm-hmm. Um, either they're you know in front of the camera, behind the camera, so on and so forth. Highlighting them, find ways that we can talk about how they are, you know, how they're proud to you know, of love and, and embracing it and, and celebrating it and, and not feeling the shame or, or, or anything of that nature. And then, right. you know, grab quotes from them and stuff like that. that they're really, really living and happy with, mm-hmm. with who they are and not and giving true. a damn why anybody else has to say, right. but also talking about the issues that they do face and deal with um, that people may not know about or may not ask them about or may not give a fuck about. Mm-hmm. And so that's that's something that we're pretty much doing by, you know, doing a lot of research and, and gathering a few things and, and doing our doing some um, um, evergreen articles where they're more opinionated based or more on a personal side of things. Right. Um, so I, we haven't released those those articles yet. Those are the articles that I'm currently going through. And editing and stuff right now, um, but they'll be out pretty soon. But more so, you'll kind of just see those that we're highlighting as of right now until I actually sit down <laughs> and go through the opinionated pieces that we do have and um, be ready to share them uh, with you guys and, and hope you guys enjoy it and like it and want to share it well with everyone. I mean, day one, we started with Sunny Kiss and it already jumped off. Sunny Kiss retweeted it. Um, got a lot of positive feedback. Um, yesterday, day two, we did Nyla Rose. Um, today, I'm not going to tell you who it is today, but you can definitely find out um, at 12 p.m. Uh, and we will be including everyone, like lesbians, gays, bisexuals, people like myself who are non-binary. Um, mm-hmm. And hopefully I will be able to, you know, because I'm on, of course, you guys know I'm senior writer too, so you know, I'm adding in a little of my mm-hmm. experience and how I felt at one point, you know, especially when it comes to labels. Mm-hmm. Um, and Nikki's taking a, I'm taking a seat back this month. This whole seat. month is shined on Nikki. You won't see me until the end of the month. <laughs> that <laughs> is true. so most like, of the time, just the will. Um, I know Abby has some really great think pieces that she'll be mm-hmm. releasing along with Chris. And then, you know, I'll be shining a light on a lot of the people. I cannot honestly wait for you guys um, to read some of the articles. Mm -hmm. And we are going to do our best to make sure that we cover everyone that we can. 
-hmm. it's really in in <clears throat> when we do certain things like this sometimes it's much easier because you have all this flooding of information mm -hmm. luckily we're, we're gonna really try to bring um some quotes from a lot of the people that we cover as well which just <clears throat> made me think i could have you know, you know what I'm, I didn't even think to, yeah, someone we're covering, I was, had a conversation with, and I didn't even think to ask them for a quote, mm -hmm. uh, but I, <laughs> I'm about to do that now. Yeah. But with that being said, I'm, I am very, 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 very um, honored and appreciative to be here at Women's Wrestling Talk, to be celebrating Pride Month, to be celebrating who I am. Um, because it really, um, it's important. And I hope that I'm really, just just in these couple of days, I've been able to connect with people that I never would, would have thought that, um, you know, and just hear stories and just, so I can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, in the meantime, we're going to figure out what we're doing in July, right, Sinzan? <laughs> we're celebrating my birthday in July, so every month, all the writers are going to write an article about me. That's what we're going to do for 31 days of Santana. I'm going to tell you an idea that I wanted to do, but I was it was a complete joke. Because well, what, what is that, Dickie? I'm not going to release it because it's really no. it's awful. It's awful. What is it? No, I'm not no, even. No. It's definitely off camera. Oh. <laughs> it's because of I was joking. Like, I was jokingly. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't actually going to be a month. It was actually going to be um, recognizing a certain group. Um, <laughs> I'm not even, y'all. That shit is so funny. Like it's it's really funny for July. Um, for July, not for the whole July, but maybe like maybe like for the Fourth of July weekend. That gives you a hint of where I, where I was kind of going with this. Um. But yeah, that's that's neither here nor there because that it it was literally a joke. It was literally like me just trying to find something to do in July. Um, but with that being said, I can't wait to have this conversation with Santana off. Um, we need to we need to get a Patreon so you guys can get this the uh, y'all have to pay for the exclusive um, conversations that me and Santana have. Um, but yeah, with that being said, you guys, thank y'all for joining. The impact <laughs> recap show. I'm gonna keep this phase yeah. until I find out who what the hell are you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it was very good. I have a lot of questions. Yeah, no, I do too. I, I have a lot of questions why this even popped up in my head, to be honest. Anyway, so this one, like said, said, you, if you didn't if you didn't know, now you know you've been rocking with the best, the dominating, the original. The first, the forceful, the majestic. I can go all and all night. The salt shakers, oh. of course. <laughs> 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 on the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. Until next time, stay stay blessed. Oh my god, I'm so white. Wow. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> And continue to celebrate Pride Month with us here at Women's Wrestling Talk, you guys. Peace. <laughs> women's Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. Wrestling Talk. 
the number one women's wrestling show on the planet.